Well, HOMH recently worked on and completed two research roadmaps for ACRP, one for design and construction of airport facilities and one for airport operations and maintenance. There were a number of themes, but the two or three I'd say that had the greatest number of research ideas were project delivery and finance mechanisms for airport projects, and um, passenger experience and customer experience. How do you make the whole travel experience from the passenger better from a concessions and uh, wayfinding point of view, um, and how you manage that and measure that. And I'd say the third would be um, integrating advanced and disruptive technologies. The two for the operations and maintenance roadmap that seemed to have the greatest number of ideas were actually a, uh, HR and workforce related topics um, for O&M airport professionals. And the other one is also integrating advanced and disruptive technologies in the airport environment. I would say there were three that stood out to me as cross-cutting themes across both of those two roadmaps. Um, two I already mentioned for O&M, which were workforce and HR issues. How do you attract, retain, and train uh, the next generation of airport uh, and airport consultants employees uh, and how they work together um, and how they integrate new and advanced technologies which brings me to the next cross-cutting theme which is airport facilities are built to last for many decades so how airports uh, manage to integrate advanced and disruptive and digital technologies everything from uh, internet of things advanced building automation systems uh, autonomous vehicles unmanned vehicle systems um, changing requirements for safety and security as well. So uh, these are all themes that ran through both roadmaps. So there are a few products with each roadmap. The first is the visual research roadmap, and that's posted. It's a web-only document. Um, that is designed to convey a lot of information very quickly. Uh, the, the number of high-level themes identified for each roadmap are listed down um, the left-hand side or the y-axis of the roadmap. And then each individual research idea, and there are about 40 ideas per roadmap, are represented by an icon that uh, corresponds with that theme. And those research ideas and icons are spread out over a five-year timeline on the x-axis. So the user can simply hover over each icon and a pop-up box will appear that has the research idea title, objective, and background information that a user can then take to develop into a problem statement. The second product is the narrative report that accompanies the visual research roadmap. And in that report, the high-level themes are described more fully and there's additional information provided on each of the 40 research ideas on the roadmap. Um, and a description of the stakeholder engagement process on how these roadmaps were developed is also included. It gives the user additional background information. So the ideas are listed on the continuum of that time frame, more or less uh, sequentially, although it's not um, always one before the other, but we took a number of factors into account, such as the urgency of the research need or the problem, the availability of data and research to actually undertake the project, and whether or not a foundation research needs to happen first, so that gets to the sequencing question. So more or less, yes, we anticipate that the research ideas will go um, for those that are listed first to those that are further out. And we also anticipate that although the main themes will probably stay the same over the five years, uh, the individual research ideas may change as technology changes, as additional research comes out or uh, new problems arise that the industry needs to address. So Idea Hub is a really great online platform for the collaborative development of problem statements. And we view the roadmaps as a tool um, that goes hand in hand with Idea Hub. And essentially, when a practitioner uh, has a research idea or is looking to submit a problem statement in either design, construction, or operations and maintenance fields, they could go to the research roadmap and see what has already been identified as a challenge or a problem or a research need by industry stakeholders on the roadmap, and then turn that idea into a more fully fleshed problem statement to submit onto Idea Hub. And the benefit there is that the user or the submitter knows that the idea that's been placed on the roadmap has already been vetted by industry and has been identified as a need and therefore would likely have a better chance of attracting support and, and potentially be selected for funding.